In an armed robbery, purposeful compliance can get you time to get your gun in the fight. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Umtata in South Africa. New Bold Targets is now Throom. Throom Targets are lightweight, weatherproof, take thousands of rounds of shooting and make shooting fun. Pick up a set for your next range trip. Okay, I lied, this is Sao Paulo, and what you see happen here is they put this guy on the ground in the middle of an armed robbery, and they are gonna frisk him down pretty good here, and you can see that they're gonna grab his wallet, they've got a hold of his phone in the bad guy's hand, he's gonna push him back, hey man, there's that stuff over there, that's the stuff I've got, whatever. And so they're gonna go, okay, whatever, we've got what we want. So this guy is going to sit on the ground here and just abide his time and chill and watch them and watch as they're gonna finally kinda of ignore him and go towards uh, the, the other side where the cash register is. Our dude on the ground draws a firearm and he is going to turn around and as they come in, he shoots one of them, a 16 year old. The other three run off, the 16 year old was taken into custody. Let's see him do it one more time. This is an off duty here in Sao Paulo and you're gonna see him get that gun out, get turned over, get good shots on the one of them and drive the other ones off and win the day. Let's think about lessons. Man, excellent job. And I wanna hear from you today. Where do you carry your firearm? Does this make you think about carrying up front, carrying forward to the hips, or what we call appendix carry? Or are you a strong side carrier? I'm an AIWB guy all day. I'm curious about you. My first thought here that I wanna talk about is about being put on the ground. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you've heard me say I am not a fan of being put on the ground. You have to decide when you are going to fight no matter what. If you're an armed person and they are gonna discover your gun, in this case is an off duty, if they discover his gun in Brazil, they'll kill him for it without question. So if they discover the gun, you just gotta fight no matter what. Um, in my opinion, if they start to tie you up, you gotta fight no matter what. They try to take you to a second location. And generally speaking, I say getting put on the ground because again, this is a time where you've lost your mobility and ability to do something, but it works for him. So okay, fine, this is purposeful compliance. And I think he does a good job of this here because he has his firearm concealed appendix and he's laying on it. So, you know, that might be a valid strategy to say, okay, well, you're laying on the gun, whatever, and that way they don't see it. And he's using misdirection and notice he's kind of sitting on that right side to keep them from discovering that he has a firearm. And he is using purposeful compliance here. Notice he is now looking for his opportunity to draw the gun. They have, they're, they're not looking at him now and he does have his back to him. But of course, laying there on the ground, he is gonna have a very difficult time drawing the firearm in a hurry. So our normal time schedule for, you know, getting a firearm out in the fight, the two second 1.5, 1.0, it's gonna be much more difficult from this position. So I actually think he did a very good job here of waiting for a much more robust opportunity rather than when the guy just had his back turned to him immediately. So he waits instead until they wander off where they've got several seconds where they're not paying attention to him to then start to get his gun out and get it in the fight. Now let's think about what he does here. Pretty good job rolling over and getting into a seated position to shoot that gun. Now that is definitely an unorthodox position, but it's something I want you to think about after your square range skills are very strong. After your normal fundamental skills are strong, now we start talking about shooting from awkward and unnatural and unusual shooting positions as something we wanna think about. Again, after our normal shooting skills are very, very strong. And here, uh, shooting from a seated position, balance becomes an interesting concern. And the reason it becomes an interesting concern is we'll see here, as you see it move him backwards, you can see his left foot is coming up very near to his muzzle. And the last thing in the world you wanna do is shoot yourself in the foot while you are trying to defend your life. So I think he avoided shooting himself in the foot here and I think he did a fantastic job, but this is one of the reasons we actually gotta train this stuff and take competent instruction on techniques to do this better so that we don't shoot ourselves. Did a great job getting shots on target and getting them driven off. Now, of course, I'm gonna tell you at the very end here, don't chase fleeing felons, right? When they run off, let them run off. You've won victory in the space that you are. You have established dominance in that space consolidate the dominance that you have in that space. Don't go out into an unknown space that you don't have dominance in, knowing there are deadly threats about. That is a much better thing. This guy, I think, covered his asp. 